and I'll always love you. Phil, I got to tell you, I kind of like I like that countdown music. I like it. It's very soothing to me. It is. It is. And it's nice to have that countdown because you can get your game face on and, you know, kind of get your mind right and just kind of flow right into it. There you go. And and it gives you time to post up, except I still can't post up in time. So take a yeah. second, put it on, uh, let put it on your page and we will have no problems tonight, my friend. And as soon as you, as soon as you share on your page, I'll tell everybody what happened last night with the getting blocked out and the reposting of the show and the this and the that and the this and the that. And I hit them like this and I hit them like that. So it's all going to uh, make sense once I tell you what happened. So how you doing, bud? Stir I'm, doing I'm, I'm doing good. I uh, like that little uh, Rascals uh, reference. The what? That little Rascals reference. Oh, I hit him like, you call, I hit him like this and I hit him like that and I hit him like this. Not too many people would catch that. <laughs> Very proud of you. Look at you catching my little rascals. I wonder if we'll be able to see uh, comments today. For some reason, I'm not seeing the comments up on my screen. Right. I don't know why that's not happening. Um, but I know the show is on. And for some reason, uh, I don't know. I don't see the comments up on my screen. So oh, I guess I could always, I mean, I see them on the phone here. Got right. Deb and Shirley and my girl Doreen's watching, but I don't see him up on the screen. So all of a sudden, that's not working. So we'll see what's going on. See, that's that comes up, but I don't see unless I unless I change something in the settings. Hold on, nobody move, nobody move. Let me see something here. Okay. Uh, general shift videos for up for comic broadcast but, 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 but yeah no i think we're good i don't know you know i didn't do anything and plus i don't see you know the folks who are watching up by where it says live up there anymore right so we'll figure it out it's no biggie how are you my friend so anyway so last night right last night we had a phenomenal show lisa lisa chris funk everybody watching all over the world and all of a sudden people were getting blocked out and yeah, I try to repost the show and it wouldn't let me repost the show. And I kept getting these messages that I was getting copyright infringement blocked. That oh, there, was, yeah. there was about a minute of the show that was copyright infringement. Normally, they'll just mute that out. If yeah. they don't like the copyright, they'll mute it out. So I kept trying to repost the show. I was texting you, Phil, I can't get the show. Won't let me post the show. Won't let me do it. Right. And on my Suki and Scott page, it was up but nobody else was seeing it, okay? So huh. I took the show. Here's how I spent the rest of my night. I took the show off the computer, right, off of Facebook, right. onto my computer. I uploaded it back onto Facebook. It still wouldn't, it wouldn't let me do it. So I took out the two videos that I used for Lisa Lisa, right, when we played her music, yeah. cut those out, and finally it let me play it. So wow. I figured, you know, tonight... I'm not going to, uh, I'm not, you know, we got Taylor Dane coming up in a few minutes. Mm -hmm. uh, Dana, he is coming up after that. And I mean, man, her story is, is phenomenal. Uh, where do you guys hear her story? Stunt woman, uh, Olympic gold medalist in 88, you know, came from a, you know, her, her childhood was just, you know, awful, but she persevered. Um, and of course, Taylor Dane, one of the biggest selling uh, singing acts of all time. She's coming up in just a few minutes. So, but I'm not playing any videos, Phil. No videos tonight. Yeah, let's not do that. <laughs> I got pictures. I got Taylor Dane pictures. She's probably going to hate me for some of the pictures I pulled up where she's got the big hair going. Um, but yeah, so we'll see. That's uh, that's coming up in just a few minutes. But anyway, my friend, what's going on? Not much. Uh, you know, we we had a heat wave going through here for the. Uh, past week or so, but uh, it was actually really nice today. It was only like mid eighties. Mm -hmm. So it was really, really nice. I didn't have to do any yard work today because I, I got it done earlier in the week. Uh, so I'm just kind of sliding my way very smoothly into the weekend. Right. So, you know, it's uh, just kind of hanging out with the fam and that's about it. You know, enjoying life, enjoying life, getting ready for the show, reading mm -hmm. up on, uh, you know, our girl, Taylor Dane, you know, one of the, as far as I'm concerned, one of the hottest acts then and still and forever. Listen, but here's what we're going to do when Taylor's on. 
I'm going to give you guys, I, I get, you know, I like to quiz you, put you up against these, these big time celebrities. <laughs> so tonight we're going to do song titles. Right. Okay. And I'm going to play too. Cause all I did was the topic. I didn't look at any answers cause they're the answers or whatever you come up with. So it's like, you know, name me a song with the color. This is an example, not in the show, but okay. name me a, name me like, name me a song with the title, with, with the color red in the title. And you got five seconds to do it. So we'll all do a, you know, a color. I have a different color for the show. But if I said to you, Phil, give me a song with the color red. Bingo. What do you got? Uh, red roses. Uh, <laughs> roses are red. Roses are red. Roses are red, my love. Violets are blue. <laughs> That's funny. That's funny. I see. Now I would have went right to uh, Little Red Corvette, Little Prince, right yeah. there, right? Little yeah. Prince, Little Red Corvette. Maybe <laughs> you're much too fast. Uh huh. Now, did you see when you you put up a Taylor Dane video today, and then I I kind of matched you with my grandma? Yeah, yeah, that was awesome. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Your grandmother. Really likes Taylor Dane. That's awesome. Oh, my grandmother loves Taylor Dane. Should I see if I can grab it real quick? Hold on. Let, let me see if I can pull it up. Anything I do on the computer could always knock us off the screen, Phil. So <laughs> you never know. You never know. Yeah, you, you never know. I don't know why I can't see. I, I don't see the comments from the viewers. It's very uh, disconcerting, if you will. Yeah, it is. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I checked. I checked both of my pages, and I was able to share it up. So that at least, at least that's working for me. All right. Yeah, I mean, I, uh, I don't want to. Uh, I don't. Even, I, I don't want to want to play with it and look for it because then I, 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 you know, I might knock us off. But listen, before Taylor comes on, before she joins us, coming up at seven forty. What time is it? Uh, yeah, we got a little time. I need you to kick us off. Your fans are here. Everybody wants to see Phil. The summer concert series continue along. It's a Thursday. Most of us still kind of quarantined in some capacity with the exception of going out to eat outdoors. The whole <laughs> thing still sucks. I speak to some businesses in the area. They're saying that, you know, because the, because the corporate offices are closed, their businesses are crushed. Everything still stinks. Everybody looks to you, Phil, for a little happiness and joy. So, so let's not wait any longer and and just give it to them. Go ahead. Okay. Uh, so last night I did a song. Uh, I want to hold your hand. Someone requested I do that in, in a sexy version. So I don't know where this theme is coming from. <laughs> but, uh, I got another request to do "You Are So Beautiful." Oh. In a sexy version, which to me that song is already a sexy version. Yeah, how much how much sex are you gonna get, big boy? I don't know. I don't know if I want to melt my computer screen or, or what's <laughs> going on. But uh, we'll start her off. Go ahead, my friend. You are so beautiful to me, and you are so beautiful to me can't you see you're everything i hope for oh baby you're everything i need you are so beautiful to me. Whoa, hit that high note, boy. You really uh you really <laughs> pinched it on that one. I can do that sometimes. Uh I'm just re I'm I, I'm getting the uh things off my phone. See, we can see I could see them all coming up on the phone, but I don't get them on the screen right now. But I mean, we've wow. got England in the house, we've got so many different folk, Kentucky's in the house. <laughs> Michigan in the house. Everybody just, you know, telling us where they're from. Um, Austin, Texas in the house. Uh, I did see a UK in here. So uh, my mother's watching tonight. Arlene Stanford is watching. Sweet. Um, hi, mom. Uh, hopefully. Appreciate the, uh, promo. <laughs> <laughs> um, so listen, you know, we got Taylor Dane coming up. We're going to play this quiz. Uh, Dana, he is coming up in just a little bit and, um, 
you know, other than that, I don't want to, we're not talking politics. We're not talking virus. Although <laughs> I, my daughter's going in for a little leg surgery next week. Oh no. My, my 10 year old daughter. So just to, just to remove something off her knee, a quick in and out. So we had to go, she had it. We had to go for a COVID test for her today oh, to the God. hospital, the hospital where it's being. So boy, we, it took us, they made us wait there for an hour and a half and we finally got her into the room and I had it done a couple of weeks ago. You know, they put that nose swab up to your brain, Phil, and your eyes start to tear and you want to be cool. You know, you know but it's like, it could be one of the worst experiences. So I, I told, oh, it's quick. It's easy. It's fun. They stuck that stick her head back, stuck the thing up her nose. I think one literally came out of her eyeball, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, uh, Thank God they only did. Thank God they only did two. Uh, or they did one nostril. You know, I got the two last time I went for the test. Uh, but of course, everything negative because I'm as healthy as a horse. But yeah, you were in there today, man. I'll tell you, it's uh, it, it's like zombie land, though. It really is. It really everybody's walking around with the masks, and it's just it's it, it's craziness. Yeah, I don't know what's gonna happen. You know, I uh, I, I hope and pray for the best for everybody, but I'm. I think I speak for almost everybody when I say that uh, I'm, we're ready to get back to some normalcy. Well, listen, we're going to get back to normalcy right now because we are about to bring in this beautiful woman who's sitting in our green room. Uh, I'm just waiting for her to finish up on the uh, the grapes we left there and a little champagne. Uh, yeah, that's what you know when you stop by the Suki and Scott show, Phil. You know, you get you get stuff in the green room. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, now, this is the part where normally, like we did last night with Lisa Lisa, I'd play a video clip of Taylor Dane in action, you know, either, uh, you know, I'll always love you or love will lead you back or tell it to my heart. I would play the video. But last night we got copyrighted up the yin yang and they froze us out. So I'm not playing any videos. I do have some fun pictures of her that I'm going to bring up. So, uh, Phil, are you ready? I know this is big because she's one of your favorites. Oh, yes. You ready to bring I'm her ready. in? I'm ready. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I give you Taylor Dane. There she is. Woo! Hi. Taylor Dane. Taylor, do me a favor. You're on your phone? Yeah. Take your phone, turn it sideways. Ah, look at you, huh? See, now we fill you right out on the screen. <laughs> How you doing, Hi. Taylor? I'm doing great. How are you? Oh, we are. Look at Phil. He's holding up the CD. He's got yeah. it all ready for you. Hey, I got. I got to tell you that uh, I purchased this brand new when it came out, and um, it's been in my collection ever since. <laughs> and uh, and and I've, I've been listening to you all day. In fact, I went on. Uh, I went on iTunes and was and was checking out all your. Uh, you know all your new stuff as well, and uh, just new singles doing great. Please, did you hear oh that? Oh my gosh! Dun, yeah, dun, 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 dun. yeah, it's doing great. It really, Ta is. you know what, Taylor? Right off the listen, this is a this is a singing show, right? So I'll what I want it live, guys. You don't have to go getting copyright stuff. What do you want to hear? That's right what now. I'm saying. So oh, okay. here's That's what I want you to do. I, I want New you to York in the house. Just bring up, raise up your phone a little bit because I don't want the top of your head to get cut off. We want to. We want to see. We want to you see you. This? There you cool. go. How's that? There you go. How's this? How's that? Nice. Beautiful. <laughs> Listen, I don't mind cleavage personally, but I'd like to see your How face. How cleavage are you getting? I mean, you're making me do horizontal. You're making me like, normally I have been in a clip. I mean, you, you know, normally everybody says don't do horizontal, but like. No, you, that's you perfect. Like, that's perfect. You know, this you're is look COVID. Look, I have a little pimple here. You guys are getting very close. And, wow. <laughs> Can you guys handle this today? Listen, uh, now, give me a little, give me a little, please. Give me, give me a little, just let me hear how it goes. Please don't go away. I'm begging you, please, 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 please don't go. Please don't go away. That's the new single. Oh, baby. Yeah. Yes, yes. Do you want one of the one of the old classes? What do you want? Well, like hold on, classes? hold on. I'll 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 belt. We're gonna belt a few of those out in just a few okay, minutes. Honey. Phil, Phil, Give do me a me. favor. Turn down your speaker a little bit. Mine or his? No, his. I his. Because I, I was just voice. hearing your voice coming out of his. Uh, Taylor, yeah. you know you 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 released that single at the start of the year, right? That was right around January. No, no, no. I released it like three weeks ago. 
Goodness. Oh, it was no. three. Oh, okay. I thought it was. I no, thought it no, was. No, it came out three the, weeks ago. Oh, okay. Okay, even better. So it's been out for three weeks. What you know? What gave you the inspiration to put out this this song and and why it, why the a title? Summer banger. Please? It's just a summer song. It's just perfect for the summer and and it was just July. Yeah, we did it like July seventh. Who wrote it? Me. You wrote Zach, it. Me, Zig, and um, his partner Nick. Yeah, nice. just two Berkeley grads, and they're just blowing up right now. One DJ. Yeah, they're amazing artists. Amazing writers and they're doing really well and it's just i was glad to get the opportunity young kids and just really on their game and they'll blow up it's just really glad the opportunity got in the studio with them that's great i want all of our uh you know we we because of phil you know we have like fifty thousand, sixty thousand viewers a night because this guy's very popular uh with the women around this country as you can imagine let uh, me see the guns phil phil show her baby come on Ooh. <laughs> it wasn't that bad. I think somebody else worked out as well. Let's see. What and Phil, the good is. the good news is we got all our comments back. Everything's working. Um, Taylor, by the way, Are you whoring him out. What, oh, what's going know. on? Oh, I, I I whore Phil out like nobody's Phil, business. You know what's going on? It's because of the shave. You you rocking that? You know. Well, well, you're a veteran. I can see. Yes, ma'am. Have you ever have you ever heard Phil sing? No, Phil, give it to me. Phil, give her a little what you put out, what you put up online today. Oh, what did I put out? Suki coming on the show. Are we doing anything with Suki today? No, no, Suki. Suki has been off uh, because she's she's doing her show on TLC. Do you believe this? So she blew you off. Yeah, I told. We spoke today. I Suki said Taylor. Is nowhere to be found. I'm doing the Scott and Suki show. Ah, uh, yeah. And I get, the, but you know what, Phil? It must be. Phil, I get the hottie today. Suki, I love you, but I got the hottie in Phil. <laughs> Phil, yeah, give her, give her a so little. Suki's of, a uh, phantom, but I got Phil. All right, go ahead, Phil, bud. Bring, sell me, sell I, I'm gonna, Phil. I'm gonna, I'm gonna sing you the one I just sang just a minute ago. Okay. You are so beautiful to me. Can't you see? You're everything I hope for, Taylor. You're everything I need. <laughs> she goes back to the cleavage. You are so beautiful. That's what my heart is, Scott. <laughs> Me. <laughs> oh man, Taylor, you're funny. You are funny. That was Listen, lovely. He's good, day, right? right? Guy's good. No, but he sang. He sang one of your songs online oh, today. That was beautiful. A quickie. <laughs> You have a lovely tenor voice. Thank you, thank you. I try. That's you know, I was a, I was a, in the military and a cop for forty years. I retired in April, and now uh, I'm trying to, I'm trying to do this business. So, you know, we'll, we'll see what happens. Doing very nicely. <laughs> thank you. Doing a fine job. You, I got uh, tell you, that that album, uh, "Tell It to My Heart" album. I, you know, I remember buying that album. I remember the record store I went to to get that. Aww. And, uh, you know, it's and you hear some of those songs and uh, and, for example, the iconic lines like uh, with your beautiful, sexy, badass growl, prove your love, got to prove your love. That's one of those moments when you first hear that. That's one of those moments where you remember where you were for the rest of your life. Yeah. You know, and. and, and Is and, he flirting and, with me, Scott? Taylor, are you still missing Suki at this particular point or no? Not really. I'm, I, I know I'm scratching here, but that's not my breast. That's my heart. <laughs> You're getting a rash? <laughs> no, but I got to tell you, you yeah, know, you hear. I'm fascinated, you, you, Phil. Please tell Yeah, you hear, because, you, hear, you, you know, I remember buying the record store I was at. Listen to the um, camera, Phil. <laughs> <laughs> I was, you know, I was driving down the road. I put that CD in. Prove your love, got to prove your love. And it's one of those deals where when you hear that, you remember where you were when you heard it for the rest of your life. And also you look at the where the sound is emanating from. You look at the radio because you can't it just grabs you and says, you know, that's you know, that's why that song is so iconic, you know, with all with, along with all the rest of them on that album. But, uh, yeah, it's fantastic. It, it, uh, it means a lot to me. It really does. You want me to sing it for you? Go ahead, yeah. Taylor. Belt Just it out, baby. Though, Give us a little yeah. bit, little bit, I mean, little bit. Prove your love. Got to prove your love. Is that the part? 
Yeah. Yes. If you want oh. to be with me tonight, that part. Yeah. Keep stuff. going. Cause words are not enough. I wanna hear your body talk to mine. Mm -hmm. Oh, baby. By the way, Taylor. Um, like sh shelter. Yeah. The song Shelter? Yes, but that was just purely for Phil. Yeah, no. Thank we'll get going. We're going to do more. Listen, last Thank night you. we had Lisa Lisa was on. She wanted me to I give you a vir she, virtual she hug and a kiss. Ladies of the 80s, if we ever get back to it. Ladies of the 80s, we were talking about it, how you guys are rocking and rolling. And, and oh, you know, yeah. you, have, you got a couple shows in this year before, you know, to crap it. We the sure fans. did. Yeah. Um, you know what? Let me ask you a question. You know, what, what's it like for you guys to, for you to be on stage even now with the people who are our age, you know, 40s and 50s still rocking and loving your music? Well, the audience is in 40s and 50s. It's 20s, 30s, 40s, 50s. And there's some little 60s spread in there. I mean, it, the demographics are incredible. I mean, this is music. It, it's it, you, you have kids of you have. I mean, 32 years. I haven't stopped touring that's how it's that's amazing. my first single came out 32 years ago and i mean music is the 80s have never been the music has never been more alive and more embraced and more and and i can tell you that right now that these last four months i've spent home loving every minute of it because now i've gone back to music you know growing up in the 70s listening to music i've like i feel like i'm back in high school and junior high and i'm loving i get to go to the beach like i've haven't sit sat home in 32 years and enjoyed music like it's been this incredible experience when have i have gone to the beach and like just hung out like ever yeah i've been home i've worked for 32 years blessing blessing blessed i'm very blessed and grateful but like i enjoy music like i did when i was a kid i feel like this is a really incredible moment to the stillness of it and having the gratitude for it. And I'm actually enjoying this moment to, to be collaborative and, um, and actually take music in again and, and restoring those moments of myself and those places inside of me creatively. And I'm yeah, really, and, yet you, you, and then you, you, you asked me, how do I release music now? Why do I feel, I feel encouraged. I feel replenished and I feel revitalized and I feel a, very creative. And you got I'm talking to people like Lisa. I'm talking to my girlfriends, Paula. Yeah. I'm talking to Deborah Gibson. I'm talking to Belinda Carlisle. We're like talking all the time and getting very, very inspired. I love it. I've been I've been watching Taylor Dane videos and listening to Taylor Dane music all day today. And I got to ask you, um, the uh, uh, I came across one. You did the remake. Oh, babe, can't get enough of your love, Mr. babe. Yes. Yep. The, the late, great Barry White. How did that come about? That was purely Lisa Stan, uh, Lisa Stanley. Uh, Lisa Stansfield had done, um, and Whitney had done the incredible remake of, uh, of I'm Every Woman. And Clive had a conversation with Lisa Stansfield on doing another cover. And it was really just hot right at the moment. We were, and I was doing a new record and, um, Clive asked me to think about doing a cover and CNC music factory we were working on did Whitney's record for um, every woman. And he goes, would you want to work with him? I said, absolutely. And the Barry white song came up and we talked about doing a Barry white song. And I just said, and we had another one we were talking about. I don't know if it was an Ashford and Simpson, but it was this, this came up you know, can't get enough of your love. And I was like, Barry White. Woo! Can't I'm get enough of your head. love, baby. So sexy. Yeah. Um, I came across that video. The pleasure of singing with him and working with him. And, and of course, recording that song was just, gave the legs to that song again. And it was just a blessing. And I remember singing it with Barry at Jones Beach, you know, outside. And it was just, and working with, you know, Cole and Cavillis was just a, they're just amazing. Robert Taylor, Clark. you got this. You got this memoir out now, right? Tell it to my heart. Yeah, and that's out that's also. Celebrating with my thirty years. Yeah, it was amazing, and did a TED talk prior to that, which kind of was the impetus for the book, the thirty-year anniversary of Tell It to My Heart and my career. And yeah, it's quite extraordinary. It's been a beautiful couple of years, you know, really. Well, you know, when I, when a I was reading book and it, it commemorates that, yeah. I was reading up on you today. Let me, if I get the number right, over 75 million records worldwide. That's not too shabby, young lady. Not too shabby. 
right? <laughs> I, that's pretty good. Thank and you, and the other the other thing that I really got a kick of was lift your phone up again. I want to see your eyes. I can't see your eyes. There you go. Um, when you were a little kid, you started early. You were getting roles in school uh, as a youngster, right? And you said you were you were like impersonating Stevie Wonder. No, when you, you would do impersonate Stevie Wonder, what you do is, I mean, I was, you know, I was that little five-year-old, four-year-old singing to the radio, and I would basically um, just sing along to the radio. So people asked me, did I know I had a voice? And I said, well, I mean, I basically imitated everybody that I, their voices from the radio, right? So the first voice I ever heard was my Sharia Moore, Moore Stevie Wonder, yeah. or Karen Carpenter. And so I'd imitate them to such a point that... I started singing like Maurice White from, you know, Earth, Wind & Fire, or I sang like Karen Carpenter, or I sang like Joni Mitchell. I mean, I would imitate them until I phrased as well as they could, or Marvin Gaye, or whoever it would be, or Aretha Frank. I mean, to me, that was the greatest, the greatest challenge, you know, to sing, to sing as well as they could, or, and that's how my ear studied. So those are where my 10,000 hours went. <laughs> what's your what's your favorite Stevie Wonder song? Oh Lord, one of my great the greatest artists of all time. Are you kidding me? One of my favorite songs of all time would be um, "Close to You" from the Carpenters. One of my what favorite Stevie one? Wonder songs. Why do birds? Oh my God! What was appear. going on in that song? Why do, do birds? birds. Suddenly, her tone every time you are near, just like me, and that Burt Bacharach, that whole thing, they yeah, to be, to be close to oh. you. Why do stars fall down from the sky every time? Boom, 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 you walk by. It just reminds me of summer, hope, promise, everything. Yeah, yeah. And then just give me like anything from like, oh my God. Uh, I was going to say like Earth, Wind and Fire, but like Can't Hide Love, Earth, Wind and Fire. Stevie Wonder, I would say Golden Lady. You know what my favorite Stevie song is? Tell me. Lately. You know, Lately. Oh. What a great song. Lately, I have had the strangest feeling Just with no vivid. That is a great. That's my favorite song of his. It's got all those tunes. I love lately. I always start to cry. Beautiful, right? Yeah. You know, at Michael Jackson's funeral, he sang. Oh, it was just unbearable. It was Stevie is just. Amazing. Yeah, love Stevie Wonder. So uh, I will Taylor. Listen, last night we had Lisa Lisa here, mm -hmm. and she played uh, the lyrics challenge against Phil. Uh, okay. I'm not. I'm not going to give you the lyrics challenge tonight. I'm going to give you and Phil the song title challenge tonight. Sure. All right. So th there's no right answers because you could pick from any answers from these questions. That's a lie. There's an answer. All right. So I was I was saying to Phil, here's an example. So, uh, you know, earlier in this in the show and I was telling Phil what we were going to do. So it would be like, you know, name a song title with the with the with the color red in it. That's not the one we're doing now, but it's something like that. So you have a, hundreds to pick from, but you have five seconds to do it. All right. Give it okay? already. Yes. All right. Here you go, Taylor. Number one. Name a song with the color blue in the title. The color blue It's called blue yeah. from Joni Mitchell. Nicely done, Phil. Uh, the bluest eyes in Texas. Can it be a variation of blue? Oh, Jesus, Phil. Who ever heard of that song, The Bluest Eyes in Texas? Doesn't matter. <laughs> uh, haunting me tonight. Close enough. <laughs> I would have went blue suede shoes for you, Phil, but here we go. Songs, Taylor, with a city name in the title. Okay. Like, uh, okay. Uh, New York, to New York, don't you see the dirt is made up? There you go. <laughs> okay, Phil? I'm going to Kansas City, Kansas City, here I come. All right, I like London Calling on that one. London Calling, okay. Couple more. Taylor, songs with a girl's name in the title. Oh, sweet Melissa. 
Nice. Phil? Yeah. Yeah. I had a girl, and Donna was her name. Nice. Very nice. How about a songs, Taylor, with a guy's name in the title? Guy's name. Dick. <laughs> is, such a uh, thing? is there a song with the with the name Dick in the title? No way. No. Phil, you? My girl Bill. My my girl oh, yeah. Bill. <laughs> what about listen, you got Leroy Brown, Billy I Don't Be one. a Hero. Yeah, Go ahead. I love him so I always will. Always will. All right, right, two more. How about songs? With food in the title, some type of food in the title of the song. Oh yeah, food. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Hot fun in the summertime. Let me think. Well, I used to call that hot fudge in the summertime. <laughs> you were gonna say hot fair. fudge? <laughs> I used to call it hot fudge in the summertime, but that's not fair. It's not true. Phil, what about you? Um, the watermelon crawl. Do the watermelon crawl. Wow. Uh, you could have had American. <laughs> you could have had American pie. One bad apple. One Even cake. Bad apple don't fall down whole bunch, oh, Even cake day. cake by the ocean, I would have accepted. All right, last one, guys. You ready? Yeah, give me the name of give me the name of a band that includes a body part in the name of the band. Body part. A body part and the name the feet, of the band. The apples, the heads. Oh, 10 years after, uh, a body part, the heads, the ten talking heads. Nice. I had that on my list. Nicely done, Taylor. <laughs> Phil? The headhunters. The headhunters. Great. You could have went third eye blind, motorhead. Nicely done. I right, listen, Taylor, real quick before I let you go. Yep. Uh, you didn't give me, I, I need a little. Um, Tell it to my heart. A little bit. Tell it to my heart. Tell me I'm the only one. Is this really love or just a game? Tell it to my heart. Because I can make my body right. Every time you call my name. Woo! Uh, uh, by the way, uh, Taylor, one more thing before I let you go. Tell me what, tell me what was happening. <laughs> tell me what was happening here. What what's going on there? That's called don't mess don't mess with the Dane. <laughs> I love it. I love that's, it. Called, that's called electric electric youth. I love it. One one more. There you go. That's called the Russian Club got me good that night. Oh, that's great. <laughs> Taylor Dane, you are a legend, my friend. Amazing. Love Amazing. you guys more than anything. Scott, you take care of yourself, Sasuki. I love her. <laughs> Phil, you're a life, you're a life, you're a lifeguard, man. You're a lifesaver. <laughs> so glad to meet you. So glad to meet you. Thank you, darling. All right. Taylor, take care, sweetie. Bye, darling. Bye, guys. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs> oh man. Boy, she was great, huh? She is awesome. So much fun. What a what a great lady. Yeah. And you know, and she's not slowing down any at all. Phil, how about this? 75 million records sold worldwide. She's one of still one of the best selling artists ever. Ever. I mean, yeah, she's up there. You know, you talk about the, the Elvises, the Beatles, Taylor Danes, right up there. I mean, just imagine 75 million albums, right? Wow. Figure, you know, those albums reach what 15, 20 dollars an album. So look at all the look at the money that generates. Mm. Right, yeah, that's crazy. I mean, I mean, worldwide, worldwide. Let me ask you a question. When I said, "Hey, Phil, you want to fill in for Suki? Do a little co-hosting with me?" Did you think you'd be singing with Lisa, Lisa, Taylor Dane? You know, next week, B.J. Thomas is on. Uh, I mean, this is unbelievable. No, I did. <laughs> I had no idea. I had no idea it was going to be this big. <laughs> I didn't. I mean, it, it, you know, I knew. I didn't know we were going to have such big guests. I mean, I knew, however, I, I did know going in that I would be 
co-hosting with uh, a seven-time Emmy award-winning oh, host. No, stop. Keep it. No, stop, Phil. Yeah, okay. yeah. Seven, seven times. Stop. No, stop. Emmy award-winning host. <laughs> I stop, did. Phil, know please, that. Phil. I, I'm look. I'm getting red here. Yeah, and I can see two of them over your shoulder right now as we speak. Yeah, they escaped. You know the the, the old trophy room. I don't know how they got out here. Uh, it was it was either that or a stapler. I went with those. But uh, <laughs> good coming up. Coming up in just a few minutes, we got Dana He. Um, she her story is unbelievable. Uh, you know, you talk, you you look at what she's done in her life, Phil. We're going to talk to her in a second. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, she she almost makes me feel embarrassed. Like I haven't done enough in my life right. based on, on what she's done, what she's gone through, what she's accomplished. Um, we're going to bring her in in a second. But first, you know, I, I got so many of your fans are still on here. They want to hear you sing. Uh, Dana's, you know, she's in the green room. She's sure. sipping on one of those green drinks that we keep around yeah. uh, and, and the grapes. So give me like another, give me 30 seconds of a quick tune. We're going to get her in here and then we're going to, you know, the, the, our audience is going to be blown away by her. So go ahead, my friend. Okay. Here we go. We'll do a, a little Elvis for you. Well, since my baby left me, I found a new place to dwell. It's down at the end of Lonely Street at Heartbreak Hotel, where I'll be. Where I get so lonely, baby. I get so lonely. I get so lonely I could die. Although it's always crowded, you still can find some room. For broken hearted lovers to cry there in the gloom and be so, we'll be so lonely, baby. They'll be so lonely. We'll be so lonely they could die. Not a boom, 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 boom. Uh, I think, listen, I think Taylor Dane had a little crush on you, Phil. What do you think? I think she, no, she is. Uh, I think she, she was digging you. Uh, she was digging you a little bit. Uh, she knows how to uh, be nice to people and, and build them up. That's why she, she has a great personality, and that's why she is so successful. She knows how to make people feel good about themselves. Yeah, yeah. I'm hoping they get that uh, Ladies of the 80s uh, tour back up so we can oh, uh, stop by and see them. So listen, yeah. let me just give you a little a little taste of, uh, of Dana here. This is kind of what she does, you know, just as a side gig. Um, she's a stunt woman. She's been a body double, stunt double for so many famous actresses. We're going to go through it. Why not just bring her in now? Here she is, ladies and gentlemen. Dana, how are you? Hi, Dana. Good, doing good. Love the Taylor part. Oh, is, is Bill and Taylor. Who doesn't love Taylor Dane, right? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. Amazing. How and are you? Scott, like you? sounds like you have credentials yourself no dana please no this isn't about me it's not about me it's about you tonight <laughs> keep dana keep going go ahead let me talk to me about my credentials no i'm kidding um dana how listen let me let me just let me explain to our audience you know um martial artist stunt woman actress model trainer you're an mc you've even you've done some sports commentating uh i read you're you're a rancher even is that true a rancher <laughs> NBC called me a chicken rancher and I had 12 chickens. <laughs> That's amazing. You never know where they're going to go with that stuff. I, uh, but you know, so, goats, so, uh, chicken, turkeys. So when I, we were talking about you earlier today. Uh, and just, you know, t talk to me first. You were in the, the 1988 Olympics in Seoul, in Seoul, right? Um, um, yes, sir. Taekwondo, was it? Taekwondo was first introduced in the 88 Olympics in Seoul, Korea, and our United States team kicked butt. We had That's number cool. one for the women's team and number two overall for the men and women's. That's so awesome. we and you were really Wow. And you, you were a gold medalist. Where does that medal hang in your home today? Um, <laughs> it hangs in a, a deposit box. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah, that's a good spot. <laughs> nice. So, so you uh, yeah. so you did you did the taekwondo. You did numerous uh, martial arts. You won all kind all kinds of uh, uh, 
awards, you know, at these different competitions. And um, then you started in uh, your acting and your stunt work. How did, how did that come about transitioning from the, the martial arts into the stunt work and acting? Uh, because I was known as an Olympic gold medalist in Taekwondo, which is a full contact fighting sport at that time, um, I got called and asked if I would do a film called Undercover Blues down in Lafayette, Louisiana with Kathleen Turner and Dennis Quaid. And I had two weeks and made about uh, $50,000 and said, hey, wow. this is a lot of fun. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, that's quite the incentive, I would say. So, and you do, you do motivational speaking as well, right? Uh, yes, sir. I've spoken for about 45,000 people uh, as an audience for the wow. uh, FFP. Hey. I watched, a, I watched a video, you were giving one of your uh, motivational talks and, and you talked about one of your instructors who was uh, saying, don't try. And, and what did he tell you to do? You... <laughs> he, was, he was telling me, uh, I, was, I had run out of steam and we were doing this drill and, uh, and I was slowing down and slowing down and he came over and he took this, this pad from me and he held it for me and he kept yelling at me saying, keep going, keep going. And about the third time he yelled at me, I just snapped and I said, I'm trying. And he just <laughs> lowered the pad. He looked me straight in the eye and he said, try not good enough. Don't try, just do. <laughs> and he held the pad for me to continue with the drill. Yeah, and you know, I think uh, that's why. Yeah. That's all, you know, that, and that's one of those we can, people can relate to that story because, you know, we, we've probably all heard that. You know, I used to hear that from my dad, you know, and I say, hey, do do. How come you didn't do what I told you to do? Well, I'm trying. I didn't tell you to try. I told you to do it. But you <laughs> uh, usually follow with a swift kick to my rear. But so I can relate to that, I can relate to that story. That's awesome. Well, I right, learned me, that 100 is not enough and that 110 percent is what you want if you want to achieve success. Yeah, and no, mathematics yeah. 110, but yep. um, you have to give more than you think that you have in order to achieve success. Phil, when was the last time you and I were on the cover of a magazine, my friend? Uh, it's been quite a while. <laughs> wow. Right? Oh, I mean, <laughs> it's unbelievable. Um, you know, you, you basically, you had, you had a rough life as a child when you read about your story. We don't have to, if you don't want to, we don't have to go into what, what you went through, but you know, you went through it, through a, a life, Dana, that many people wouldn't come out on the other side of, uh, especially as successfully as you've done it. Uh, and I know everything you went through as a child, uh, from what I've read, it was the, uh, you know, the, the, the Taekwondo, uh, and the martial arts that really helped you build up your confidence from everything that you got that you went through as a child. Is, is that an accurate statement? I would say it is um, because as a martial artist, you learn things like um, you want to break a board. And at first you're thinking, I'm going to break my hand or I'm going to hurt my hand. I can't do it. I can't do it. It's impossible. And then all of a sudden you try and you break the board and that revelation pops off in your head. And you get that revelation over and over again in the martial arts. And so you stop saying that I can't. And the road to the gold, to the Olympic gold, taught me to change my thinking from I can't to I can. Uh, because I grew up with that whole thing of I'm not good enough. I can't do it. I would run from any chance, challenge, or dream. I was the complete opposite. I was a coward. And uh, that road to the gold taught me to step up, to rise to the challenge. That's amazing. It's amazing. Yeah, yeah you just, you, you read, uh, and, and folks, if you, if you go online and read about Dana's, uh, or, you know, her life as a child, you, you'll, you'll see what she went through and what she overcame. Um, I wanted to ask you about, you know, being a stunt double for some of the biggest names, you know, in Hollywood, Cameron Diaz, uh, Nicole Kidman, Uma Thurman, Sandra Bullock. Um, when you, when you're doing the stunts for them, are they there with you watching this or you you never really hang out with with the celebs while you're doing it or are they like oh I want to I want to meet and hang out with my stunt double It depends if we're filming first and second unit uh, separately but generally on big stunts like peacemaker 
where we crashed through a window with George Clooney and Nicole yeah. Kidman. Um, we ended up in the hospital on that one and N Nikki was there and she was crying and she was hugging me and she was like, you know, I'm going to work you forever. And, you know, and uh, so she was really, really sweet. And, uh, but they were both watching, watching us get burned and uh, cut uh, to the bone. That is amazing. And I also, do, do you have, I, I also read on one of your, one of the stories that you, once the pandemic is over, you're already booked for motivational speaking all around the globe, right? Uh, yes, I have about eight countries right now, including Iran and Russia um, wow. and India and um, South America, Guatemala, uh, all kinds of different countries where they've invited me to speak for to empower women. And that's my goal with my book that I just put out, One Step with Courage. And I talk about the one step with courage because if you can take that first step, which sometimes is the hardest thing in the world to do, mm -hmm. then surely you can take a second step. And what happens, it's the law of inertia. And so once you set things into motion and set things into action, things happen, doors open. And whether you make a left turn or a right turn, you can always turn around and go the other direction. And so that's, one step with courage is my book. That's, that's out, the way, and right. I talk a lot about that. Dana, where can it's called One Step with Courage? I know it it came out recently. What uh where can people find that book? On Amazon. Amazon? Okay. Yeah, I'm Just gonna tell everybody out there, order order that book. I mean, because your message, you know, especially in these times of uncertainty and uh, you know, so much going on and um you know, people don't know where to turn sometimes, but your message and your story is is one of hope and that, you know, and you can overcome even, you know, coming from uh, from adversity and uh, people need to get that book and they need to hear your message. I've watched several of your uh, videos, you know, in, in your motivational speaking and just some of the messages you were putting out there and just very, very inspiring. And I thank you for doing that. Yeah, thank you, Phil. Um, you know, it's interesting when you're standing in front of an oncoming car and you're terrified how you can still manage to pull yourself together and take that one step with courage and focus on what you need to do. And what I always say is if you focus on every single thing, little thing, tiny little things that you have to do in order to get your job done, there's no room for your fears to interfere and derail you from your objective. Right. And so that's and, uh, exactly what yeah. And, you know, and, and looking at everything you've done, you know, I, I do, uh, I've been a, a part-time actor myself for, for a few years and, uh, and I'm, I'm trying to get into that full time now that I'm retired. And, but, um, all, all the stuff that you, you've been through as far as your stunt work and your Taekwondo and your martial arts and, and everything, you know, I got hired uh, for a little project and one was kind of a minor stunt. And all I had to do was stand at the edge of a, a, a swimming pool and fall backwards into it. And do you know, I was so nervous about landing flat on my back on the water and I was, <laughs> I was kind of scared. So, uh, yeah, it's just, it's just crazy. But uh, I really appreciate, you know, everything that you've gone through and, you know, to be able to lead up to this message that you put out there. Thank you. Yeah. And, and a lot of the actresses are really quite gung ho, like uh, Jennifer Garner and Alias. Uh, we had to step off of a plank, a gangplank into thin air and you drop down on what's called a decelerator, which slows you down and touches you to the ground. But at the first part of it, it's a free fall and it's scary to death. I mean, <laughs> and she just went right up there and did it like that. <laughs> Yeah, and I was nervous about falling backwards into a swing pool. <laughs> Dana, are you are you still are you still doing stunt work for movies? Uh, no, I retired in 2017 and oh. um, started uh, started writing back then, but never really finalized until recently. And now I have three other books: one about to come out called Fear Factor Zero. And I have another one, The Fly in the Kitchen Window. And then I have the best one called My Dirty Laundry. Nice. <laughs> nice. 
I would have to think. I I would have to think doing doing stunts in movies. You watch him with a little different eye these days, right? I do, and it's it's very distant. Um, uh, It's it's interesting how it's you separate yourself from the world, and all of a sudden you see it with a different viewpoint. Um, But then half the time that we would do stunts. We would um, watch the movie and be disappointed because we wouldn't see everything that we wanted to see. Right. Like in Batman, I think Batman Forever, uh, I was doubling Uma Thurman. Um, is that one or Batman and Robin? I forget. And I did a 20 foot backfall into the arms of six golden hunks. <laughs> and it was like the coolest thing that I ever did. And then when you see it on the screen, it looks like I fell all of two feet. <laughs> so I'm like, well, drat. <laughs> didn't, look, didn't look the way you wanted, huh? Um, was no. there was there one one crazy stunt from one movie that stands out in your mind that you did that you were just like, man, I can't believe I pulled that one off? Uh, doubling Pamela Anderson on a film called Barbed Wire. I remember it. She's, I remember it. She's like five five or five four, and quite chesty. And we were wearing a bustier and spike heels and fishnet stockings, thigh high boots. And the the heels were like probably four inches. And so I'm like standing six foot something. <laughs> and I'm like, how am I going to double her? And what we do is you can't tell the size difference on camera unless there's something to compare it with. Right. So we just hired stunt man who was taller than me and the same ratio to Pamela and her right. stunt and her actor. So we pulled it off, but it was a hundred foot, hundred foot um, above uh, sea level where we're on a, um, a crane that's spinning 360 degrees. And we do a fight with a car, a forklift and a motorcycle. Nice. And at any point in time, if you got, caught up and uh, in the cable and the cable could break, you could fall a hundred feet to the ground. Oosh. Did they make you, did you have to wear the barbed wire tattoo on your arm? <laughs> you know, I don't remember the barbed wire tattoo, so I don't think had, so. Yeah. She had that in the movie. I remember. <laughs> Maybe it was covered up by the clothing. I mean, listen, I, I know because I stalked, I, I mean, I followed Pamela Anderson's career uh, very closely back in the day. Oh, uh, yeah. I wonder why. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, that, listen, Dana, it's such a, a, an honor to have you on. You, you, you've been through so much. You've done so much. And I mean, you know, it, it sounds like you've got so many things cooking and, and just, you know, continued success for you. Thank you. Yes. Um, yeah, I have a lot of ambition. Let's put it that way. That's amazing. Uh, and having amazing. quarantine time just gives me more time to think of things to do. And the name of the book that's out right now, One Step with Courage, it's available on Amazon. Uh, listen, everybody go grab that book because uh, you see that this young lady is quite motivational. Uh, and, you know, I haven't read it. I would, I'm going to read it. And I, I, I can already tell you that I need to recommend it to everybody watching. So thank you so much for coming on. Thanks, Dana. You're up. Thank you so much. You guys Dana, take, care take care and have, have a great rest of the summer. All right. You guys take care. Bye-bye. Tis Bye-bye. The Absolutely. Thank you so much. Phil, I told you. <laughs> I told you. She, she but you, you talk, I, I mean, I feel like I'm not doing enough now. Yeah. I mean. Right. You talk about accomplishing things you want to accomplish in life. She, she is a, a, absolutely amazing. You just look at her list of accomplishments and you're like, man, oh man, that, that is, that's unbelievable. Yeah. I get nervous falling backwards into a swimming pool and she, yeah, what's going on? With, I thought you're a military guy. What, what's going on there? <laughs> yeah. Crazy, crazy. I just don't like to fall. That, that feeling of falling. I just don't like it. <laughs> <laughs> hey, listen, speaking of stunts, I had such a good time on that zip line last weekend. We're going back on Saturday. I'm going to be zipping off that platform again. Nice. Nice. Oh, yeah. I'm going to be zip. My wife's going to be screaming right behind me again. And we're, and we're going to just get all day back and forth. Zip, 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 zip. It's going to be great. Nice. Yeah. 
be great. So, well, listen, you know, we're, we're, we're coming to the end of this show. You have a little more singing to do. Maybe I'll do op it with you a little bit. Mm -hmm. But next week, we've got um, Kevin Eubanks. Remember Kevin Eubanks from The Tonight Show? He was the band leader. Oh, yeah, yeah. Kevin Eubanks is coming on. Uh, we got BJ Thomas coming on, 50th anniversary of Raindrops. Keep falling on my head. Uh, and then on Thursday is um, one of my, my one of my favorite girls, uh, women, I should say. I, know, I always say every girl for everybody. Um, Gloria Rubin's coming on, former actress from ER. Mm -hmm. She's on a couple of uh, shows that are on now. She's a singer. She's an author. Uh, and she's just, and she's, she's a, a brilliant lady and it's just going to be, you know, next week is, is going to be just a, another terrific week. And yeah. again, listen, I know people are asking me where Suki is. Suki and I spoke today. She's been doing her TLC show stuff. She's done at the end of August. So she can't wait to come back on. Um, if Phil's going to be on with us all the time now, and it's just going to be, you know, we're just going to add to the, add to the show. We're going to keep getting, you know, great, interesting guests. And we're going to keep blowing it out. That's all we could do, right? Listen, it, I always said, you know, people ask, well, why are you doing this every night? What are you doing this for? Because we don't get paid from it. Right. And we, we started out with, you know, just having some fun in quarantine and, and giving people something to watch other than, you know, CNN or MSNBC or Fox, um, which I'm always glued to, you know, half of my night when we're done here, either that or WWE, of course. Um and then, you know, people say, why are you doing this? You're not getting paid. And I said, well, isn't it better for us to be sitting here doing this, doing this show for the 50,000 or so folks who watch to hear you yeah. sing, to laugh with us, to get these great guests on? You know, I could be sitting up on my couch with my remote control watching TV or out taking a walk. But to sit in my home for an hour and a half to do these shows and you see the joy that we that the, the people who write us who watch the show from around the country and some from around the world. I mean, it's quite worth it, isn't it? It's, it's pretty fun. I, I don't even, you know, yeah, I mean, you know, I, I don't even make a million dollars a show like you, Phil, but all my money goes to you for filling in for Suki. So I have nothing left over for me. Well, you know, I, it's, it's not really about the money, but you know, it's really more about those seven Emmys that you're the proud owner of, you know, yeah. Seven time Emmy award winner. You know, I just want to throw, I don't know if I've mentioned that before, everybody, but yeah. that is a seven time Emmy award winning journalist, co uh, host, whatever you want to call it. Uh, you know, I don't like to talk about it, Phil. Nah. Uh, so many folks writing in about uh, Dana. Um, you know, Dana's, thank you, Dana. Such a strong woman, so inspirational. Uh, so, so successful. I mean, all the, all the women writing in, um, uh, pretty interesting show tonight. Uh, Sandra writes survivors become strong, which is absolutely true. Yes. Uh, yeah. you guys always great way to pass the time. Um, Dana, welcome to the show. Oh guys, my first time watching. I love it. Uh, impressive, Dana. You are the you know, people say you're the man, they're saying you are the lady. Uh, mm -hmm. wow, amazing. Uh, congratulations, Dana. Excellent. Um, hi, Dana. Um, wow, she's superwoman. Hello, Dana. Hello, Dan. Boy, everybody just writing in. And folks, listen, you know, Dana's got the book out One Step with Courage. You get it on Amazon, and I think uh, it's going to be a phenomenal read. Um, everybody's still writing in about Taylor Dane, which was amazing. Um, you, listen, you sang with Taylor Dane tonight, Phil. We're done. We don't have to do any, if we did nothing else, we sang with Lisa Lisa and Taylor Dane this week. I feel like this is not even happening. I feel, <laughs> I feel like I'm in a dream sometimes. <laughs> I just, Wait, it, your, your wife's in the other room taking care of the dog, and you're singing with Taylor Dane on the computer. Yeah, well, you know. Somebody's got to do it, I guess, you know, um, I don't know. It's uh, like I say, it's 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 an amazing journey that I'm on right now. And I, you know, I, I really don't want to wake up. Yeah, no, I, I hear you. It's, it's fun. It's a lot of fun. It's you know what? That's why, you know, when Suki and I tell you about when we were doing the morning show here in New York and, you know, picture doing this. But the guests actually come in and sit with you. You know, and I used to be on the set in a commercial and, you know, like Cheryl Ladd from Charlie's Angels would come walking in to do a segment. I'm like, oh, 
I used to have a poster of you on my wall. Um, <laughs> you know, and, and different athletes come in and, and singers and celebrities. And, you know, I mean, it, it, it was amazing. I mean, so, you know, um, somebody wanted to, uh, I can't remember his name right now. He was a singer. Suki was freaking out. She didn't even know he was coming in. She was freaking out. She, she, every time the guy sang half a song, she was crying. Uh, <laughs> it wasn't Luther Vandross. It was some, uh, um, Keith Sweat. You know Keith, Keith Sweat? Sweat? Oh, my goodness. She was, as she turned into a, a 15 year old schoolgirl, and Keith Sweat came walking in the door. <laughs> um, but it was just, it was, it's wild. It was really great. But listen, uh, it's 8 30. People want to hear you sing. We're going to wrap it up soon. So uh, let's uh, – what do you want to do, man? You want to do uh, – we can't get copyrighted tonight because I didn't play anybody's videos. So I think we're, we're in good shape. Well, um, you uh, – yeah, really, we don't want to go through that again. Uh, Chris, uh, nobody – Give me something Give me... new. Okay. Let's uh, – let me see. Uh, you know, you mentioned uh, Keith Sweat. Oh boy, I I I, uh, I have a Keith Sweat. Uh, I got his music on my uh, my playlist, so I'll sing a little bit of this one. <laughs> oh man, Suki's gonna freak. <laughs> this one's for you, Suki. I wanna tease you. I wanna please you. I wanna show you, baby, that I need you. I want your body till the very last drop. I want you to holler when you want me to stop. And who can love you like me? Nobody, baby. Who can treat you like me? Nobody, baby. Who can love your body down? Nobody, baby. Nobody. Yeah, I love Keith Sweat. Wow. You know what's funny? The minute you that's those are the only words I know from a Keith Sweat song because when he came <laughs> in in the in the commercial break, I started listening to one of his songs. Yeah. So the minute we walked over to the other side of the room and Keith Sweat was sitting there ready to go on the air with us. I just went up to him and I said, I want to please you. I want to tease. And Suki was like, holy crap, how the hell do you know? And he almost fell on the floor. It was, it was so, and I actually have that on one of our, uh, you know, like a Suki and Scott show demo. And she's uh, she's yelling at me. She's like, let him sing. And I'm, he was crazy. He's like, I'm like, I want to tease you. And those were the only, the only lines I knew from Keith Sweat because I was, I never really was a big fan of his. I never followed his music, but. Oh, yeah. I love Keith Sweat, man. It was so was funny. Awesome. That was funny. Let's see, let's see what the, uh, what your fans are saying tonight. Uh, but, 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 we got to go back up. Let's see. Uh, love Phil. Love Phil. Elvis is in the house. Sing it, Phil. Okay. Um, Keep singing, I Phil. Good one, Phil. I told you we could put any celebrity on here, man. They just want to hear you sing. That's all they want. Well, speaking of Elvis, how about this one? Oh, you know I can be found sitting all alone. If you can't come around, at least please telephone. Don't be cruel to a heart that's true. Baby, if I made you mad for something I might have said. Please, let's forget the past. The future looks bright ahead. I don't be cruel. Mm -hmm. I do heart that's true. I don't want no other love. Oh, baby, it's just you I'm thinking of. Well, let's walk up to the preacher and let us say I do. Well, then you know you'll have me and I'll know that I'll have you. I don't be cruel to mm -hmm. a heart that's true. I don't want no other love. Oh, baby, it's just you I'm thinking of. Boom, boom, boom. <laughs> oh, you will know I can't be found. <laughs> and all around. 
<laughs> Whose version do you like of My Way better, Elvis or Frank Sinatra? Oh, yeah, I'm gonna have to go Frank. Just barely, just barely uh, by neck. Yeah, you know what's great about Frank? It almost like he speaks the song, right? Yeah. Right, and now the end is near, and so I face the final curtain. My friend, I'll say it clear. I'll state my case, of which I'm certain. That's more sounds a little. I think I'm I'm floating over into Elvis. <laughs> <laughs> I've lived a life that's full. I've traveled each and every highway. But oh, more, no. much more than this, I uh, did it my way. way. <laughs> Regrets, I've had a few, but then again, too few to mention. I did what I had to do and saw it through without exemption. I play. You know what's funny, Phil? This morning I was doing a. Uh, I was a guest on somebody's podcast. Uh -huh. This young girl out of L.A. in her early twenties, um, more of a wrestling theme WWE type of podcast, and she right. did this rapid fire questions with me, and she asked me what are you know what's one of my favorite songs to sing. Now I knew damn well whatever song I pulled out, she was not going to know it. She was. She wouldn't have heard of it. <laughs> so I first thing that comes to mind with I go uh, I go uh, you know that's life by Frank Sinatra. <laughs> she, she says she says how does that go? So I bust into I'm like I've been a puppet a pauper a pirate a poet a pawn and a king and she's sitting there like this. <laughs> I'm like yeah, I, don't want... I said, but I was just in the car with my daughter singing a run a One Direction song, so you know I could go I can go either way. <laughs> it was very funny. I right, listen. I want to give you. I want to go around this quiz with you one more time. Okay, and we'll come up with some good ones together. So so how about a song with the color an easy one yellow in the title? That's an easy one. Oh, tie a yellow ribbon round the old That's old tree. It's been three long years. Do you still want me? Want me? <laughs> if I don't see a ribbon round the old, old, old tree. You know, I got to sing that with Tony Orlando, right? I showed yeah, I know, that you. Yeah. In the in the in the dressing room at Pix Eleven, I sang that with Tony Orlando. <laughs> Golly, I wish he would come on the show. And, oh, he was on. Yeah, oh, he, he, he was on. Uh, it was a night. It was he and Daryl Strawberry were both on the same night. Um, so you got Thai Yellow Ribbon, um, Yellow Submarine. Yeah, right. Uh, yeah. There's a so Coldplay song, Yellow, and what else? Got to be at least one more. Uh, that uh, the the Adele song, Yellow. Which Oh, that's yellow. <laughs> yellow. Is that the color you're looking for? Um, a song with a city name in it. You got uh, my kind of town, Chicago is. I'm going back. I'm going back. I'm going to New Orleans. I'm going to New Orleans. Did it. I'm going back to stay. Da 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 da. Yeah, old Fats Domino tune. And then Kiss. Uh, Kiss does Detroit Rock City. Detroit Rock uh, City. Of, so many of them. How about let's do let's do another one with um with a girl's name in it. Uh, see Donna. Um, Beth, I hear you calling, but I can't come home right now. Cause me and the boys are playing and I just can't find the sound just a few more hours and I'll be right home to you. Beth, I hear you calling. Oh, Beth, what can I do? Beth, what can I do? Uh, let's see. How about how about goodbye, Norma Jean? Though I never 
knew you at all. You had the grace to hold yourself. Well, those around you fall. Give me another one. How about, um, oh, uh, I, well, I, I said Sarah Smile before. Sarah Smile. Sarah Smile for me, Sarah. There's, there's got, I mean, there's got to be thousands of them. Oh, yeah. Right? I've, yeah, I've done several. I, I can't think of them, though. <laughs> hey, Stop them. Me what you want to do. do. I think I could stay with you for a while, maybe longer if I do. Longer if I do. Uh, and let's finish it off. Let's see. We'll do one with um, name. Do another one with with food with a food in the title. Food with food. Um, a song with food in the title. The only other one I could think of is "Bye Bye Miss American Pie." I drove my Chevy to the levee, but the levee was dry. And good old boys drinking whiskey and rye, singing, "This will be the day that I die." This will be the day that I die. Oh, I you, know what I, you know what I just thought of? What's that? You know I like my chicken fried, cold <laughs> beer on a Friday night. The pair of jeans that fit just right. And the radio. <laughs> you, you know, you could you got there's gotta be eight thousand country songs that have food in them. Yeah, that's true. That's it. She she's the apple of my eye. Uh -huh. Remember this song by by a group called Warrant? She's my cherry pie. She's my cherry pie. Yeah. <laughs> So, but somebody wrote up, uh, somebody wrote strawberry wine. It's like strawberry wine. 17. Right? All right, my friend. Uh, so we're done. We're done for the week, man. It yeah. Week. It's going to be uh, going to be a good week next week. So uh, just want to thank, thank everybody, all my followers and everybody who tuned in. Thank you so much for being here. We love you guys. Uh, you know, watch my page. I'm going to put out another song in the morning, and uh, we'll see what happens. What? Uh, who did we have on Tuesday? I can't remember. It seems like it's such a long time ago. Who did we have Tuesday? I forget. Uh, Last night we had Chris Funk and um, uh, Lisa, Lisa Lisa. And Tuesday we had who? So I, I can't remember who we had. Hold on. I'm going to tell you. Uh, all right. We had De we had a great show Tuesday. Deborah Silver, the singer. Oh, yeah. Yeah. We Maya, did some of her videos today. Maya, the relationship expert. Yeah. 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 How, how can we forget that? Oh, my goodness. <laughs> I'll tell you. I, 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 listen, I'll be honest with you. I could see a lot of guys who were single buying you know signing on to Maya's advice and 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 hiring her to see if they can actually get a date with her <laughs> yeah yeah right? I, I totally see that yeah can, can you see it oh look at this we got uh this young lady I don't know how to say this Hele Skjot watching from Denmark tonight uh, Hele, uh, we're probably butchering your name butchering but the name butchering people watching from Denmark <laughs> that is awesome. That is awesome. Thank you so much. Right. All the way across the world. No, that's great. That's great. Folks watching from, uh, let's see, Texas. My eyes are getting bad, Phil. My eyes are getting bad. Let's see. Texas. Zoline Merten Styers. I know I butched that too. Watching from Westphalia or Falia? West Westphalia. I don't know. Westphalia? Hey, I love my Texas brothers and sisters. <laughs> Thanks for joining us, Oline. All right, come. On, let's finish up with one real good one, and then we're gonna bust out of here. What do you want to do? Uh, let's do. Uh, I guess our our regular. Good night, sweetheart. Well, well, it's time, time to go. Do, 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 do. Good night, sweetheart. Well, well it's time, time to go. Do 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 do. do. We hate to leave you, but we really must say, oh, good night, sweetheart. 
Good night.